Tony, thanks. Now an update on our top story, the bridge collapse in Ridgeway, Elk County. Devin Clark has been working the story for us, and he's here with the very latest. Devin? Well, Jen, I can tell you that when I got here, it was hectic. Firefighters, ambulances everywhere when this Route 219 Pensy Bridge collapsed, taking the excavator that was on top of it down along with it. Now, if you look behind me, you can see that the excavator arm is still sticking up. It looks like the excavator is on top of the bridge. There is no bridge, folks. That excavator is actually down in the Elk Creek. The bridge looks like it literally snapped in half. I want to show you some video that we shot a little bit earlier. When we got here, one construction worker was actually being rescued, being lifted out of the creek. One of the sheriff's deputies told me that there were about three to four people injured all in all, but they were all conscious and talking. Another sheriff's deputy told me that two helicopters were being brought in. I understand that that one injured construction worker that was being lifted out of the creek had to be life lighted. Now this all unfolded around 2.30 this afternoon when the excavator and the bridge went crashing into the Elk Creek below it. Again, this is on Route 219 near the Sheets. Now a little background on this bridge. We understand it was badly damaged by the May floods last year. Construction workers tell me it was in the process of being repaired and at the time of the crash and at the time of this bridge collapse, only one lane was open at the time. Now earlier we spoke to two people about what they are calling a freak accident Accident, and this is what they had to say. Probably underneath it was really weak and probably with the vehicles or whatever, I don't know the whole story that went across, uh, probably was just too much. I was just shocked and scared for everybody that was involved. Again, now there's no word on what actually caused this Pensy Bridge behind me to collapse. We do know that three to four people were injured. One of them, at least, were life lighted from St. Mary's. We will keep you updated on this story as it develops. For now, reporting in Ridgeway, live, Devin Clark, 6 News.